Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. I really focused on getting words on the page this week. I'm working on the fourth book in my series, uh, La Fay, it's a novella, and I really wanted to make sure that I wrote every single day, finished marrying scenes together, and got this draft done so I could get it to my editor. I have a lot of travel coming up in the next couple months, and I wanna make sure that this book is done and in a good place so that I don't have to worry about running into a cafe to finish a scene to make sure that I can get uh, this out to everyone. tonight over by our house and it's a celebration because I got 500 words written today. <laughs> um, it's not a goal but it is hard to write every single day when you do have a day job so every little bit counts and yay for me 500 words is 500 words. I just got home and I was listening to the SPP guys, the self-publishing podcast, and if you don't know of them, I will put a link to their website down below because you should know of them. They are an amazing writer resource. Um, anyway, they were talking about their new app, Story Shop, which just launched this week, and I've been on the fence about whether or not I want to do it because there's so many writing programs out there, so many world bidding programs, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be right for me. Uh, but after listening to them, I'm pretty much convinced. Basically, it's just an app where you, not just an app, but it's an app where you build your world out, you build your characters, and then you can hashtag them or at them like you would on Facebook. So you could do hashtag Pismo if that's where a scene takes place. You could do um, at Violet Evans or at Robert Maxwell, and then every time you click on their name, everything that you tag them in will show up. And so you can do relationships with characters, you can do scenes with characters, you can make descriptions of what they look like, everything. And for a writer, that's such a useful resource. And it's not that I don't know my characters really well or my world really well, but everything gets muddled after a while. You know, you go through so many different revisions, you go through so many different story edits, and there's so much in my head about my characters. And sometimes I'm like, did they really say that? Did they not say that? What was the final version that got published? Uh, and so it'd be really nice to have a resource where I could just flip to this program and go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that person is over six foot, they're bald, and they speak with a Celtic accent. <laughs> um, so it would be really helpful to have something like that. And I think that moving forward, Story Shop is only gonna get better. So I get paid on Friday, and I believe that's gonna be my first purchase. everyone we made it to the weekend give yourself a pat on the back um, when I got home today we had some very exciting mail so I thought I would share it with you guys um, I've been making a few uh, products with the logo I made for Soothsayer and putting them on things and I sent some stuff out to a couple fans a few weeks ago a week ago and I ordered some more stuff so that I could the dogs are excited <laughs> they want Soothsayer swag too um, but I got some more stuff in the mail to kind of give out to people to do some giveaways coming up in the summer. So let's take a look. I got more bags. How many more bags? I got three more bags. Three more bags. So yeah, so I'll be doing another giveaway or some sort of giveaway over the summer with bags and mugs and tank tops and a couple books and It'll be a lot of fun, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to open my mail with you guys and show you my new tote bag. I can feel the air. Happy 
Sunday fun day. Yesterday was my fun day. I went to a bridal shower for a really close girlfriend of mine, and then we went out to dinner with some friends later in the evening, so I did not work on my writing platform, and that's okay. Like, we need time to recharge, we need time to enjoy the world, and I definitely enjoyed my mimosas. <laughs> Um, so anyway, so today I'm gonna work on the fourth book in my series. I'm almost done writing it. There's a few scenes I really wanna hone in on and get perfect uh, and just kind of fill in the gaps. Like I wrote all of the fun scenes and the exciting stuff and now I just gotta kind of marry the chapters together a little bit. So I'm gonna work on that today and then later I'm gonna go to my parents, have dinner with them and kind of catch up. And then tomorrow it's back to the day job and another week of balancing work, life, and writing life. incredible. Finn is freaking out because he wants to be held. I just came home and he's like, mom, play with me. Happy Friday, everyone. Yay! We freaking, oh, I'm looking in the wrong areas. Perfect. Um, I wanted to, I don't know what I wanted to. 